Good afternoon, YouTube. Rayleigh Small Engines here. We're working on a Craftsman uh, LT something or other, 1500. Got one of these, I think you call them a power mower engine. Uh, anyway, come in, no start. Left key on, run battery dead. You know why it runs dead? Because this solenoid is powered on on the carburetor. Well, all I did... Pulled the air filter off, shot a little brake cleaner in there, boom, it fires up and dies, okay? There is a full tank of fresh gas, so obviously I spilt quite a bit. But we pulled this carburetor off and we got it on the bench, and I'm going to show you a couple things about this carburetor you need to know. Yes, I know, my workbench is a mess. I've been busy. I got to get these jobs out of here. Anyhow, see that green looking gas coming out of there? It smells like, ugh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Let's take this thing apart. I usually use the impact driver. It grips these Phillips bits uh, a lot better than a regular screwdriver. Just to break them loose, it helps. So we're gonna pop this thing apart, maybe. Let's see if I can. Pop this one loose. Some of them get really tight. When we pull this solenoid or bowl off, I'll show you the inside. Now I can get a regular screwdriver. Now there is a hidden screen that nobody knows about. And what the symptom, ooh, look at all that rust already. Here's a hidden screen in here, folks. I had one kick my fanny one time. And let me get something to fit this. Let's see if I can drip gas everywhere. Um, anyhow, over here in the toolbox, I'm gonna get me a wrench or a socket to fit this. Um, had one kick my fanny one time because it is that little screen there, what'll happen is it'll run and die, okay? So, run and die, what it's doing is letting just a tiny bit of fuel through, not on this one in particular, but it'll let a tiny bit of fuel through, and then once you run that out of the bowl, then it'll die. Now this one won't stay running at all. I shot it with brake cleaner, like I said, and, and uh, Look at that crud, folks. Kind of nasty. Um, I wonder why it won't run. But this one running and dying like that, it's just completely stopped up. That seat is just totally rusted. Hope you guys can see that. Now what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this main jet and we'll take it out and take a look. But there's a few things, that and you know there's red fuel filters, the little, I don't know what you call them, little short fuel filter, I'll show you in a minute. But take them out and throw them in the daggone trash. They ain't nothing but a screen and get you, I lost my jet. I hate it when it does that. Where'd it go? Did y'all see? There it is. Y'all were laughing and watching, huh? I can actually see through that one. It's not that bad. You ain't about to see it on the camera, I doubt. Now, that screen is down in here, normally. So the way I remove it, I'm going to put the air hose. It's gone now. Nope, that screen is still in there. I can see the, I shine the light into the seat and then I can see that screen down in there. I can see the light behind it. And I can see that this one is actually clean. But give me a minute and we'll go see if we can remove it. I'm back, are y'all still there? All right, we gotta see if we can get the screen. I, I wish I could show you down in there. But that screen is way down in here this deep. And what I do, I'll take a pick tool 
and get down there and you can hear it scrunch. And I know you're not gonna hear it on camera. I'll scrunch and break that thing all up, all the way to like the sea. Down there where my pick tool is, this all the way in the end by the seat. Once that's all worked around as good as I can get it, then we'll blow that puppy out. Or as much of it as we can. Shoot a little cleaner through there. I did extra C off the C, didn't you like that? Sorry about the compression. Boy. That's it, folks. Now I gotta get something about this out, but I gotta go get a bike heat or something here. Be right back, guys. Y'all just sit there and watch this. No, I just kidding. All right. This is the fuel filter I took off of that machine. You can see it's still dripping gas. These, here's a new one. These are 150 micron, okay? These are supposedly for gravity fed. There is a white one that looks just like this, which is a 75 micron, okay? It's a little finer. And all that's in these things is a doggone screen. In my opinion, I'll show you the best thing to do with one of these. Get you a big hammer and do that. Throw it in the trash. Get you one of these. It's a filter made for Kawasaki. I put them on everything. It's 30 micron. It's made for fuel pumps. Now, they are directional. And I just wrote that on there. It doesn't come like that. These are 30 micron, but you've got so much volume around here. They work just fine. And I'm going to show you. This is my little test fuel tank. They work just fine on gravity fed. I hope there's gas in my little tank. That's more than enough fuel to run an engine. So, 10352 is the rotary number for that filter. I hope I got that on camera. But that's the filter that I'm going to put on this machine. I put them on everything. I don't care what engine it is. You won't have any trouble. I promise. You have trouble, I'll pay for it. How about that? Not, I'm not going to send you any money. Uh, anyhow. All right. We're going to see if we can get this seat cleaned up in a minute. And we're moving on. All right. Got us a drill. Got some Q-tips. You can just put them right on in your drill. Crap. I hate when stuff falls. Then my old self got to bend over and pick it up. Sorry about all the background noise, folks. Trucks are running up down the road out there. I'm going to put this in the drill. There she is. Carburetor cleaner. And we're going in. Here we go. Huh? No, not another carburetor cleaner. Are you kidding me? Yep, another carburetor cleaner. We're hoping we're going to get lucky. sit there and watch this but this is what it takes i could pause it and say there it is it's done nope and we still got to do the needle Actually, see brass down in there. How about that? Let's do it one more again. What you think? I know y'all sitting on the edge of your seat with excitement watching this. I'm 
broke it. I don't know if y'all can see down in there, but it's pretty shiny down in the inside now. Now we're just going to see if we can get this needle out. These little boogers are spring, got springs on them. And you fiddle and wiggle till it comes apart. I'm just moving this around in my finger, cleaning it. And we're going to see if it leaks or not. What do y'all think? You think it'll leak? Y'all excited? I'm not. I'm having fun though. I like doing this stuff. Just sitting here talking to myself. All right, let me get my, where's my pressure tester? And you can do this two ways. I got a pressure tester or the little the little old gas can uh, off a lawnmower up there that I just ran that through the fuel filter. Get you one of those, screw it up on the doggone shelf. And all you got to do is cut the gas on and put it up, help clamp it up somewhere, or hold it there and See if the doggone thing leaks or not. Yeah, that puppy's leaking. Look at there. Can you see the gauge? She should be holding up there around 10 PSI. Now I hold my finger on a little pressure on the float, she'll hold. See it? Yep, she's leaking. She'll settle out. Yeah. Not happening, Captain. All right, let's go see if I can find any parts for this stupid thing. I'll be back. Sit right there. Don't go nowhere. Ain't done yet. Any of you folks ever heard about hen's teeth? They're hard to find. Sort of like parts for this junk. So what we're going to do, this thing is so corroded, we're going to order a new one off of Amazon. Cost on it was like $21.88, I think. It'll be here tomorrow. We're going to pop a carburetor on it. We're going to use a good fuel filter. These I showed you these filters work. And a, a 30 micron will definitely filter out way more than this junk. So, anyway... If you don't mind, if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. Watch one of our other videos. Hope you folks have a great day. Thanks for coming.